what we are up against. This video is only for people with an open mind, be open to new ideas. I wouldn't at all call this video false or misleading, but it speaks on things we cannot see or touch, things, uh, things in a world outside of ours, so just realize that before you watch. In this video, I'll explain some of what is going on in the spirit world now and the effects that it has on our world today. Whether real or fake, this battle is actually happening in our world today, the real world or the, or the physical world, just in a physical sense rather than a spiritual one. A war has been waged against God and the devil in our world. The devil is using his army to block, block blessings and create madness and negative things destruction and chaos wherever they go, and evil lie, lies in high places in our world. The evil is above the good, and that is why we see so many people getting taken advantage of, oppressed by the government or corporate forces. Uh, those people do not follow God, they follow the devil, who is a murderer and, and a thief. The people in control of this world are not following the ways of Christ or God. They instead follow the ways of the devil and, and the disgusting effects of that gross leadership can be felt by any and everyone. It doesn't even depend on your class or your wealth. We all live in the world here, and God hasn't been in church for a while, and our world has been demonized, and so a lot of, a lot of what we know and see are not pure and true. The devil has a great control and hold over America. Some complete fools in great places of control actually follow his ways and want to be greedy and wicked to others. And because of the, the number and size of these people, we were actually impacted by their decisions. And they decide to take advantage of us, oppress and manipulate us, farm us, and use us as a working class. And the devil does not want any good for the people. And the fools who follow his ways are paid well. Satan is against God and his ways. So he wants to take the world and destroy it to defy God. And he is using the people to do this. Right now, evil reigns on the earth, but not for long. As of right now, we are going against the kingdom of darkness as the light, and the light will prevail every time. God is good, God is just, God is right, God is strong, and God is many other things and pleasant things, but let's focus on those. God wouldn't abandon us. He wouldn't just throw us to the wolves without any protection. We have the word of God to follow, the armor of God to wear, and the path of the righteous to take. We must come to we must understand that a great war is going on right now and God wants to come out on top. So we need we need people who follow God's word in places of power. We need people of the truth and people who are good and genuinely care for others to be in charge. Remember, Satan wants to hold back and destroy our race. That is what his followers, demons and humans, are trying for. They want to get rich, do their nonsense and die. They want money, power, and control, and that's why they follow the devil, and they do not care for anything else. A good man never follows what is bad for himself or for others. They do what is good in the eyes of God, so that they may please God through their prayers, actions, and words. It is important that we do what's good, right, just, and honest, and true, so that, we, so that you may be doing good for yourself, others, and God. God nourishes us, and the devil hates and despises us. He brings destruction and calamity to us. God will protect us, guide us, and nourish us. Nourish us. He does this because he loves us, and he wouldn't like it any other way. He will defeat evil, and the good will come over the earth for good. And what we can do, what we can do is know where the devil lies. He's in America, and he runs the government. Sorry to say, but it's prefix. He lies to, controls, and deceives the people, and he does this through his men. This is a huge problem because we know that he is no good. So what is he doing controlling the government of America? We don't know, but he has. And that's, that's only one country. The rest of the world aren't as bad, but they, they don't follow what is good and right. And they aren't the most empathetic and intelligent people either, so that limits their impact. Pretty much all governments in the world, besides few, need to change their old, outdated leaders and change them with good, forward-thinking, reliable, safe, and, emp and genuinely empathetic leaders to take their place. Once we have a bunch of really good leaders in place of the old, ignorant, and wicked, you will start to see great benefits shooting up from all the countries who implemented this change. Change the leaders, change the world. It would, it would be very beneficial to also have leaders who have a good relationship with God, 
because it is especially those people who are always doing good for others. So once our world has new and right leaders in places of power, of power the world will be able to fix itself. Remember, it is the old people and the people of control who are following the devil, not us. So all of the new generation people are well and safe, and we can choose to follow God instead. There, there are many, many people who do that, the old generation too. It is only it is only because the new generation it is only because the old generation in places of power and authority has chosen to follow evil instead that we are seeing such a bad, hard and cruel world. We can change all of this by studying scripture, Bible verses, and following the ways of God, so he can set us on a good and safe path and that is good for all of his followers. Saint Ar Saint Michael the Archangel defeated the devil once and he can do it again. As a, as a people, we should follow God in His ways, so the world will be right, abundant, and free for all people, and the land will support us, and we will be joyful, happy, and more, and safe as well. God is looking out for you, and He wants and He wants things to get better. Just know that there's a spiritual battle going on right now, and God is going to win, and the people will live lovely, lovely lives. The people in control and power today follow the devil, and they plan for themselves and against us. They are greedy, corrupt, and foolish, so they go on the devil's side against, against God. They must be jailed or, well, just taken care of. And proof that America is home of the devil, it is like the only place with the Satan synagogue, and the Illuminati symbol is actually literally right on the dollar bill, which is insane to me. I think that's crazy. Uh, like, some of these people are not being discreet at all. Anyways, they control everything, and we, well, they... They control everything in a sense. They control many things for sure. And when we, the good people, replace them, the world will get better quick. And we will begin, to, and it will begin to heal itself with our aid. Then we will decide what we would like to do going forward. So that ends off the video. I do want to just comment on one thing when it comes to control. Like, you can't physically or like mentally, you can't be like, you know, controlled. Like, nobody can, can directly control your actions and your words and everything that you do and stuff. But they can definitely, like, influence and give you, like, limits and boundaries to control you with. Like, you could, they can give you, like, boundaries. Like, you can't, like, you can't act, with like, outside of your society. Like, you, you can't leave your society pretty much and you can't, like, out, out, act outside the boundaries of it. And also, like, you just, like, you can't... There's just certain things, like... It's like they just put you in like a box. Like you just like this box that you go in, that like they put your mind in, and then like that's like the boundaries and that's like the limits of what you have. Everything that you know, that's about it. And they don't teach you and they don't give you anything more to like know or learn. So that's when it comes to control. Like they can't directly control you, but they can, they can control what you know to a certain degree. Anyways, like it's hard. It's hard. It's hard getting into like you know control method tactics and stuff like that. But there is, there is literally a, a sense of control that they do have on you. It's just not like 100%. That would be impossible. So that's just what I want to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll create more so we can break this or so we can get out of this system, this crummy system. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.